I want to show you how to use loops in PHP, specifically starting with the while loop, but the concepts I'm going to show you here apply to all of the different types of loops in PHP programming. And as a practical example of what the output of loops could be, we want some kind of repeatable pattern. The example I'm going to use here is a lottery picker, where a punter can come in and choose his lottery numbers. In part one, we'll just show what we see here, a five by nine array of divs that the while loop will produce. Part two will be adding a checkboxes so that the user can select different numbers. And part three will allow the user to select those numbers and pass them through onto the results page where the numbers that the user has chosen get, gets shown. Here is the basic skeleton of our HTML page. I've got a style sheet linked in, which I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the wrapper div. And then let's just go ahead and open up a PHP code block. And what I want to create inside this wrapper div is 45 individual divs. 45 of these individual boxes, all of the coloring I'll do afterwards from a style sheet, but the actual 45 divs themselves, the div tags, I want to create that using a while loop. So I'll start off, create the actual control variable, $i. Decide where I want to start $i, what I want to assign in there as the initial value, because eventually I'm going to be adding in the number one into the very first box and 45 into the very last box. That really bookends the range of different numbers I need $i to be. So $i is going to start off at number one, because on the first iteration, I'm going to echo out one into that first div. And then the while loop, I'm going to start off and the actual condition I put for the while loop is I want to keep on looping while $i is less than or equal to, well, 45, because that's the very last iteration I want to go through. I want to echo out 45 in that very last div. So that's going to be the while loop. Um, I better remember to put in my incrementing statement straight away here, just in case I forget. And so looking at the structure of that while loop, I know I'm going to get 45 different times that that loop is going to go around or 45 different iterations. Now I want to decide what I want to do on each iteration. And really what I want to do is just, I want to echo out into the HTML. Um, inside that div element, I want to inject in whatever the value is of $i on this particular iteration. So I concatenate using the concatenation operator in PHP, $i, then concatenate on another string literal, which contains the end div tag. And so with that statement, every iteration will give me a div element with whatever the current value of $i is in the middle. So let's save that and see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. All of the different numbers are there. Doesn't look like there's much structure on that, but just the key thing here is to go into view page source so I can see the layout of all of the different divs. So I can see my div wrapper there and I see all the individual divs one after the other. Now, Sometimes when I'm debugging and I'm coding, it's much easier to actually see the structure of something like this if each of these divs is on a separate line. So what I tend to do is at the end of this line, I'm also going to concatenate on the PHP constant PHP end of line. That won't take any of effect in the actual uh, page itself, but in the actual code, when I go view page source, it just forces all of the different lines onto different lines. So I can see, yes, all of the inner divs they're all there. I can see the numbers injected into the middle of each div and I see the end div then and that end div tag is the end of the wrapper element. From here on in to get the structure to pull that into the middle uh, I need to actually do some work in my CSS. Going back to my code I can see I've got a link to a style sheet here. I've named it style1.css and I have style1.css here ready in the same folder. Let's look at the inner divs first of all. If I actually just target those by just saying any div that's a direct descendant of another div, which means the inner divs in this case, I want to float all of them left. And also I want to make them a certain width and height. Also, just to allow me to lay this out properly, I'm gonna put a border here straight away just so I can see the divs. So there are my divs. Yeah, they're all laid out, they're all floated left, so they're flowing up beside one another. Um, the wrapper, if I want to gather, gather all of these divs into the middle and to have just five of these divs on each of the different rows, uh, that's where the wrapper comes in. So, trying this out with trial and error. 
There we go. So I've got 220 pixels width of the wrapper. That's squeezing in all of the inner divs. I've only got enough room to fit five of those inner divs on each row. Now let's see if I can put in a little bit of a margin on each of those inner divs. And let's see if they fit with that margin, and they do. And then lastly, I'd like to maybe center this div into the middle, the wrapper that is. I'm going to do some other styling here quickly, uh, things like the shaded coloring uh, to get this checkerboard effect, centering the text, and a few other different things like that. So I really started to pull together this array, this lottery card. I've got it in the layout that I want, and I've got the numbers in there. So that's a good example of just using the while loop to construct that type of lottery card. And again, the CSS, the cascading style sheets, it has a huge influence on how it looks. Really, the while loop is just taking care of getting the divs in there. So that's part one of this exercise. In part two, I want to have the same, and I just want to move it on a step, which is getting in checkboxes in each of these different divs. And so the checkboxes will allow the user to come along and actually check the numbers that they want to select to play the lottery game. So moving back into my code, again, into the actual while loop, the main place where all of the action takes place where it's repeatable is all inside the body of the while loop here. So if I want to actually put in checkboxes somewhere, it needs to go into the body of the loop. And I have to think about where in that body of the loop I put in this input tag uh, with a type attribute set to checkbox. And I want the checkboxes to be inside the divs, so therefore it has to go in here somewhere. And, and I could kind of maybe put it in there as is, but it's gonna get quite crowded. And just to make it really obvious of the different parts of this whole div element and its contents being constructed, I'm gonna split all of these onto separate lines. So those are the three different parts I have in already separated onto separate lines. And now in just after the dollar i that's getting echoed out, I'm going to echo out the input tag. That's the type set to attribute, uh, type set to checkbox. And those checkboxes, they're working already. They allow the user to check as many on as they want. And that's part two of the exercise. The last part of the exercise is I'd like to allow the user that once they've selected the different numbers that they want to play is that they have a button down the bottom of the form. They're able to actually press it. It moves onto a results page and it will just show the numbers that the user has selected. So to do that, we need to add in a number of different things into the actual code. So I'm going to start with the form. Uh, I'll just put the form tag up here and it's a form method. Um, the post method I'm going to use here and the action is just I need to pass this form whenever it gets submitted all the values need to go over to the next page which is the results page so that's the start form tag the end form tag is put in there automatically by my code editor I'm just going to cut that from there and I'm just going to wrap it down below my end div tag for my form and uh, the next thing I'm going to put in is just a submit button so input type equals submit and if you want you can actually change the text on the submit button by just changing the value and the value attribute so i'm just going to put in the word play there and so when i click on that play button it's going to go to the results page that's fine but the final thing i need to do here is to do with the actual checkboxes themselves at the moment yes the checkboxes they're inside the form but i really need to have a name attribute on each of those different checkboxes that is different so they all have to have their own individual label when they go into the actual post array. And also I need to give them all an individual value as well. So I need to do a little bit of work inside this input tag. So let's start with the name attribute first of all. The name, um, essentially I'd like to get something that is going to make it look like we've got maybe box one, box two, box three, all the way to box 40 or 45 rather. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to hard code in one there because at the moment, the way that that while loop is working, I'm just going to get them all named box one. What I need to do is take out that one literal number that's gone in there, and I need to jump out of that string literal and just inject in whatever the value that is in dollar i at the moment on this iteration. So take out that, 
put in single quotes here. Uh, that will play nicely with the double quotes I have. I will just concatenate on dollar i and concatenate on and then another single quote there to um, jump back into the string literal to close off the attribute with a double quote and an angle bracket to close off the actual input tag. Let me just zoom out there a little bit just so that it all goes on one line. There we go. And let's take a look at how that manifests itself actually in the HTML code once this PHP file is run. So I'm going to save that, flick back into the browser, refresh. Uh, the main thing I'm interested in here is how the actual code looks when I refresh the code. Uh, so this is the way it's looking at the moment. So the first iteration comes along. I've got an input type equal to checkbox, name equal to box one. Next one after that is the same, except it's box two, box three, all the way to box 45. So that's the name attribute taken care of. I need to do something similar for a value attribute here as well. And obviously the values, I want to actually pick out all the different numbers. So uh, I'm going to go back in here, do the same type of thing, except instead of doing it with a name attribute, I'm going to do it with the value attribute. I'm just going to take this slightly over here so it all fits on one line so we can kind of see it a little bit more clearly. Uh, the attributes all have to be kind of split by a space inside the actual HTML input tag. And so we put in uh, value equals uh, double quote because I want it to remain inside the string literal. And the number that I want there for the value of each different checkbox is whatever the value that is in the dollar i variable. So again, I'm going to nip out of the string literal, inject in dollar i, and then jump back into the string literal again. So single quotes and concatenation operator, dollar i concatenation operator, single quote to jump back into the string literal. So let's save that and let's see how that manifests itself in the code. I'm going to go back here and refresh, and we can see here again the HTML of the resulting page is value one, two, three, all the way to 45 for each of the different checkboxes that come out. Um, again, back in the actual page itself, I won't see any changes when I refresh the page because it's all taking place underneath the bonnet. I should be ready. I should be ready then to move on to the results page and try and handle all of these different checked numbers when the user clicks on the play button. I've already got the file lotteryresult.php made. I've got the bare skeleton of it. And again, I'm using this wrapper div because um, I'm going to borrow the same styles for uh, the wrapper that I'd already set up in the style sheet already on the previous page. And what I want to do inside this wrapper div is I want to open up a PHP code block and I want to handle whatever the values that are coming in in the post array. So dollar underscore post square brackets. Um, if I wanted to get out one of these numbers, uh, I could just put in uh, whatever the label was on that number. So let's say I want to take out the value of box three, for example. What is the value that's in the checkbox that was labeled as box three? I'm all going to echo that straight out. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back. If I actually refresh this form page and I don't check anything to do with box three, let's just check some of the others and I click on play because box three is not selected. I'm going to get a blank page when I actually press on play. Let me go back and I'm just going to select box three this time and click on play. Now when I do it, I am actually getting the value three. Now I need to do that same thing, except I need to do it on all of the boxes. If I was so inclined, I could just actually echo out every single one. Just repeat that pattern over and over again, but just 45 lines. Start with the first one with box one, all the way to box 45. So same type of loop as we had before, because it's the same structure, dollar i. I'm gonna start at one, and uh, I want to put in a while loop with a condition. While dollar i is less than or equal to 45, uh, I want to execute the code in between these brackets here. And I'm going to put the actual curly brace around this echo statement. And essentially what I want to do is I want to post out all of the values, not from box three anymore, but for each different label going from one, two, three, all the way to 45. Uh, incrementing statement, make sure that I don't go into an infinite loop. So $i++. Let's save that and let's go back and see what happens. So we've got our lottery card here. I'll click on several of the numbers and uh, let's click on play. So we can see all of the numbers are coming out here, but we've got spaces between them. 
those spaces is because I am iterating through all of the different boxes. If the number is checked on, I'm echoing out that value. If the actual number isn't checked on, I'm still actually echoing out a break tag. So I'm getting all of these spaces in here, which is not really what I uh, was going for. Uh, I'd like to get all of those numbers collapsed together. And we could kind of think about it, but essentially I only want to echo out one of these different values if the actual box is checked on. So how can I do that? Uh, well, I can use an if statement. Um, uh, echo out whatever the value is in that box and also echo out a break tag. Otherwise, I don't want to do anything except just increment dollar i again and go around the loop into another iteration. So let's just save that. Just go back and uh, here we get it. It's much tidier this time. We're only echoing out a, a, a line or a number if the actual number is checked. And if we kind of gather that together, uh, instead of a break tag there, just put in a comma and a space and uh, I'm going to get the actual numbers all spaced out one after the other. And so let's just go back and just give it another whirl just to show you that it's working no matter what numbers I pick. And there we go. So we get this lottery card number picker that's online for users to use. That's all three parts. Enjoy. I'm going to put in a link down to my GitHub repo so you can actually download this code. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again. Bye.